Hello, I am Simply Brentley and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. I am very grateful for every single one of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Holy Father, angels, ancestors, speak through me. I hope I reach as many people that resonate with this message. Please and thank you. All right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead and ground. Releasing any of that negative energy, only welcoming that good, positive energy. Give me some of that good stuff, okay? This is what it, I have. Like, I was just sitting at work and I was like, it was like somebody like is the side chick and they don't know it. You are the side chick and you don't know it. And this is how you about to figure it out right now, honey Chiro. This is how you about to know it. If this person always got excuses, if this person always is, every time they hit you up, guess what it's for? Because they need something. Because they want something. Because they need you to do something for them. Look, pay the wand. That's all they're doing is slinging they wand around, right? Uh, so here we are here. This person thinks that it's something about the chase. So you have been chasing this person. You've been chasing this person and they just want you to chase them. But guess what? They ain't never going to leave they, they number one. What do they call it? <laughs> they bottom bitch. <laughs> you know, like in the pimp world and all that stuff. The number one. They, they ain't going to never leave them. Period. We have the seven of pentacles here. And look at these things in reverse, right? Seven of pentacles. So you consistently gave this person your heart. You consistently gave this person your all. And they consistently threw that shit, like, and stomped on it. Throw it and stomped on it because they were very, in, they're very, like, emotionally insecure. They're very much so, uh, they, they can't follow their intuition. They And it's not like this person is better than you or anything like that. They just settle for less, right? So they do a lot of faking. They do a lot of fake. Gee, phony. Gee, fake. That's the type of I hate. If you're real and you know it, clap your hands. If you're real and you know it, clap your hands. So you are the real one, right? It's not nothing about that. Like you're not the real, real one. They're just trying to delay you from going on to somebody that's actually going to respect you. Somebody that's actually deserves you. Somebody that's actually going to reciprocate. It's like they know that you're too good to be true. They like some of the shit that you do. For them, to them, all of that shit, it blows their mind, right? And they just so scared. They don't want you to, they don't want, they don't want to be like a no commitment, commitment with you, right? But they don't want nobody else to have you either. You best believe. They just know that like, if they, they can't, they too, they, you too good for the settle with their ass. Like, you're not going to, like, if you were in a commitment, commitment with them, see you say, for instance, y'all just fucking. <laughs> if you was in a commi commitment, with, commitment with them, a lot of shit wasn't going to, it's not going to slide by like that. Ten of Wands. Yeah, and they know that it would they would have to like go ahead and take on their responsibilities and work hard for this shit. That's some hard motherfucking work. They they know what they would have to work hard if you were in this commitment and they ain't ready for it. They they, they very emotionally immature. The lovers. Huh. That means there's a choice to be made. To commit or not to do or not to do, okay? And then with the lovers at right after that we have the Ten of Cups. They know that like you it's only but so long you're gonna put up with this shit. Like, you finding out right now that you are the side bitch, you are the side chick, you are a little something on the side, you need to stop be settling because you way too good for that shit. Stop settling. I'm Like, if you don't know me and this is your first time tuning in, I'm going to keep it real over here. Stop settling for that shit. It's happening because you weren't allowing it, right? It's happening. Let me say that three times on purpose, okay? It's happening because you're allowing it. It's happening because you're allowing it. And, you know, like, sometimes that could be very offensive to others or whatever. If you're not, like, in your energy of being healed, that could have been offensive to me years ago, okay? Um, but but I'm in the energy of being healed and knowing that, like, you, it's, a person's only going <laughs> to go so far, as you, go so far as, as you let them to go, right? So now we have the will of fortune. So you're really getting off into yourself. You realize that you deserve much better. You're tired of being upset. You're tired of waiting by the phone for nothing, right? To have your anxiety up to, for nothing. You're tired of some fake-ass apologies. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. It won't happen again. It's not going to happen again, baby. Uh, I don't want it to happen. Like, come on now. You're tired of all that bullshit. Uh, but like, 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 this is what happened. That's why I couldn't come through for you. That's why I said this and didn't do that. That's why my baby mama cousin Chris, um, Christmas party, uh, whatever the fuck, okay? It's a whole bunch of motherfucking lies. Just to get in your head, they always got some type of side story for you to feel sorry for their ass. And you ain't got you ain't got time for that shit. Not not one moment. You wasted enough time on some bullshit that's never going to reciprocate, let you know. It's, the time is not, 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 not knocking at your motherfucking door and you ain't got no more time to waste. On no bullshit. On some people, some person, some situation that's not reciprocating. And it never will, baby. 
It never will because it's some certain shit that they know that they can just call you right back up and you're just going to accept it. And there's some type of um, naivete around you that they think they can tell you a motherfucking side story. And you're like, okay, you're not that desperate. Let them know you're not that desperate, baby. You're not that desperate. You 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 have a, a big heart. Your heart is big as fuck. You, you're genuine. You love to give love. But whenever it comes to a certain point in time, baby, if they ain't reciprocating that shit, then they got to go with the deuces. Period. We have the chariot here. So you're traveling towards success. And what is this that fell and flipped over? It is temperance in reverse. So this, this caused a lot of imbalance in your life. A lot of imbalance. It was a lot of things that were like long-term. And it was just a hostile situation because you needed to grow from it. Like I said this in a reading a couple of days ago, if you're in a situationship and you're always constantly arguing, you're always constantly fighting, you're always constantly can't get along and you're like, God, please help me in spirit is showing you like this is not the right thing because if it was the right thing, it would just be so much easier and you're still fighting to be there and fighting to be there and fight until it's like inevitable that it has to be like it's, it's some shit that you just not see it. It's some things that you're overlooking and this person never deserved your energy. And now you have to get off into yourself and remove it. Period, poo. Let's see what else we have with the last advice. Greco, it's time for you to re rebuild, baby. Time for you to rebuild. It's time for you to see. See that light through those clouds. It's time for you to focus on you. Focus on me, baby. Period. It's time for you to focus on yourself. And once you focus on yourself, everything, come on, get off into your spirituality. Everything will come into fruition. You will be knighted. You are a chosen one. You just have to stop being taken advantage of and realize that you have to blame yourself for some shit. Follow your intuition, baby. Follow your intuition because you are very spiritually guided and there's a lot of wisdom around you. You just have to take that shit. Take the lease and down. And then what I just, okay. Right after that wisdom, you are a unicorn. You are this mystical creature. You just got to, uh, you like, what do I say? You got to do better to get better results. You can't keep on doing the same bullshit. Keep on saying, okay, I forgive you. And they're going to keep on doing the same bullshit because they can. Because they motherfucking can. And you much better than that. All right, now. Get it together, bouquet. Because I know you can. You are this empress. But it's like you have been... Suck the succubus energy has taken some of your strength, and now you need to remove your motherfucking self. Okay, go ahead and build that shit back up. All right, all right, all right. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. As always, peace, love, and namaste.